What up, fantasy football people? It's your boys. We are back talking stardom and sit for week three, wide receiver edition, though. Um, I think at this point, I need to ask the question. What? Are you sitting Jamar Chase this week? Absolutely not. That's yeah. still stupid. I, gotta ask, I see. I'm not blaming if, you. If What if um, his quarterback's hurt? I don't care. You're Jamar Chase. You're easily a third or fourth best receiver in football. I'm not sitting. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. I mean, I, I, I like him. I think he's averaging almost 10 points. I, I get you went first pick on him, but you should have got depth behind him. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I was mm-hmm. trying to trade for him while he's cheap right now. That's what I've been trying this whole time. And mm-hmm. it hasn't worked. Um, Justin Jefferson, I feel, must start. Tyreek Hill must start. If he Lamb. plays, yes. Well, yeah, if he plays, yeah. Uh, C.D. Lamb must start. Stefan Diggs must start. At this point, I think Puka Nakua is a must start, too. Yeah, I was Olave, going Garrett Wilson, like all those big names he's yeah, starting. Yeah. That's what I'm yeah. saying. I'm going down the list of them. I mean, there's a ton of them. Uh, then we start getting into those, I guess, the receivers that people have as their seconds, thirds, yeah. flex. Um, just to knock out a group at once, let's just get it. Let's just let's just do this. Yeah. Play any receiver from the Ravens against the Colts. Yeah. Because we got like multiple Houston Texans receivers going against them. So I think any of them could be I doubt you have multiple Ravens, but if you got any of them, I would probably well, I think Bateman. Odell's hurt. Uh, yeah. So even Bateman. better. Yeah. Zay Flowers, Bateman, like let Aguilar, let them guys eat. Um yeah. also I would probably play any Man, I don't want to say Chiefs, but I feel it. Like, I just feel the Chiefs go off this week for some reason against the Bears. Do you play Nico Collins or Tank Dell? I'm going to play Nico Collins because I feel like he deserves it. And if you yeah. if you have a shitty flex, then I would take the risk on Tank. Like, it's a flip of the coin, but, like, I'm not going out of my way to find you a spot. Yeah. That's a solid argument for sure. I can get that. Um, I would probably take any Eagles receiver against yeah. the Bucks. AJ Devonta, yeah, they're all. I think you still have to play Mike Evans while he's hot. But that he's gonna do good because yeah. he, they use him so much. He's gonna like you're just not gonna stop Mike Evans. But I wouldn't expect what he did last week. That was Does Chris Godwin become. Yeah, he becomes more of a premium in this game. Against the, the Eagles. Yeah. What about a, a Christian Kirk versus Houston? Well, I was going to say, I'd probably play any receiver on that team also. Yeah. But and not, but Christian, I mean, uh, Zay Jones might be the pick, though. Because I like, think about the past couple weeks, you had like that third or fourth receiver. Like Josh Downs got like five catches on Houston. Yeah. And that if Zay Jones is that role, he'd probably make that six, seven. Um, a big name that people went high on, um, DJ Moore. Oh, Ugh, sorry, but he had 100 yards. I mean, yeah, he uh, he had a quality game. Uh, he's going against Kansas City. Um, are you trying? I'll say him? this if he's your best one, you should be a little bit afraid, but yeah. if he's like your second best, I wouldn't, I wouldn't worry. I'd definitely play him. Yeah, I think most people have him as their first because they went high on him because they yeah. were in love with the Justin Fields stuff. Um, a guy that's probably second, third flex, uh, Drake London. Week one suck, week two jump back. Are you trusting him? Week three, you taking the training wheels off? He's on my team, I'm not playing. I'll tell you that. Is this because you don't know what that team is gonna do? Who's favored? How they're you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, if he, like I said in the other video, if they continue to have games like that, like another one where you know that his, like, he's. Ritter's favorite or whatever, yeah, you keep playing him. Because it'd be the same as a Mike Evans situation. Yeah. What do y'all feel about Garrett Wilson? He's so fucking good, I'm playing you. I don't care who the quarterback is. You got a touchdown in both games, bro. You know what I'm saying? He got got a touchdown on the wackest pass ever. (laughs) So, yeah. Uh, Gabe Davis. Nope. No, Stephon Diggs, oh, yeah. Um, let's see. That Gabe Davis is 
one running game on that team away from him being a bench player. Like, if they could run the ball, they wouldn't even play that dummy. They got to get the big play. To I was that. I was kind of impressed with how Amari Cooper looked this week. And I was even more entertained by the fact that he was frustrated a little bit because Deshaun couldn't get him the ball. Yeah. But I would kind of entertain the idea of playing him as a second receiver or flex or something. You know what I'm saying? I mean, they are going to have to rely on him with Nick Chubbs out a lot more. Um, yes, sir. Uh, what about uh, – this is a name that is – Getting overshadowed because the, the number one over there is balling out. Uh, two two at well. I think I think two two could be played in deep leagues, but I don't see him being the number one. Yeah, yeah, he's like the Zay Jones and Elijah oh, like, Moore. Like, like, like a flex, like yeah, he's like, the, he's like Gabe Davis if Gabe Davis was better. He's like, yeah, I mean, I guess. You know who he? You know who he's like? He's like Jordan Addison behind Justin Jefferson right now. I was about to bring Jordan Addison up too right now. Yeah, like I would. He, he's the mm, clear number two right there, but he's like Jordan Addison. Yeah, he's the for sure second best receiver. But it also like as it pertains to fantasy, it's just like what do you got? You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, Tutu's a rank forty-two right now in Yahoo leagues. Plus twenty percent of people picking them up. Yeah. Now, if they, the whole Rams team can keep this up, that's going to be the question, also. Yeah. Um, the only issue that I have with like Tutu is like they use him in motion a lot. Yeah. For the defense to show itself. Yeah. And those guys usually don't get the ball unless your name is like Tyree Kill or Cooper Cup. Yeah. So I mean, they're kind of using him as a crash test dummy sometimes, and that's not a good thing. Um, for some reason, this guy is on a lot of teams. Uh, Traylon Burks for the Tennessee Titans. Oh, I'm familiar with the idiot, but I you're on the Titans. <laughs> <laughs> um, what about Kendrick Bourne of New England Patriots? I don't like um, him either. I think he's probably the safest bet as far as wide receiver over there. I'm high on Brandon Cooks this week against the Cardinals for some if reason. If he plays, yeah. What happened to that fool? Oh, he's been hurt. He's been dealing with a knee injury. Uh, <laughs> he's supposed to return, uh, but yeah, it's uh, he's been dealing with a knee injury. Do you play Jacoby Myers if he's healthy? Is Devontae playing? Even if Devontae's playing. Week one, they both no, played. Probably not. Touchdown. I don't – I mean, you're mid to me, like mm – -hmm. You're 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 a player. That's all you are. Like, Deep there's in. no still no. Like, for me. I feel like he's flirts with flex. Yeah, I don't want because, him as my number one or two receiver. But if I have him like as a flex, I'm like, eh. you're like play. KJ Osborne. It's like, eh, we'll throw you in there when some guys get tired. Other than that, we don't believe in you. You know what I mean? Well, I mean, in week one, he week he one dominated. Yeah, week two, he had a concussion um, thanks to a dirty hit, but. Allegedly, I mean, it was late <laughs> to a defender. It's never late. I mean, I don't like Kareem, so it's fine. <laughs> there was another defender I defend him, but um, what about Adam Thielen? He had a good game last week. I, I thought he did good until I looked at the stat sheet. Yeah, so if that's what you got, I'm not playing your ass. Um, I don't want to have to depend on a touchdown every week. Exactly. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. It looks like it's touchdown or bust. Um, what about Rashid Shahid? I was just thinking about Saints receivers, and I was like, this feels like a a Chris Olave game to me because he hasn't done good all year, and for some reason, I think he'll do good against Jair Alexander. Yeah, but that's not to say Sh Sh I mean, Shahid's real role is just to go long. Yeah, yeah we all know it's boom, boom or bust type of shit. Um, a name I would play him if he's on my team. Yeah, I feel like at this point he's kind of to me he's that Hunter Henry. He's that uh those he's guys. That that, player you said, you know what I mean? Yeah, but he's those guys that you haven't done me wrong, so I'm not. I don't have a reason to take you out now. If I need to take you out I, I, after this, hey, I I rode you until the lightning in the bottle is done. I feel. I don't feel great about any Broncos receivers, even though they haven't done me wrong either. But 
Yeah. What about your boy Josh Reynolds? Do you think he does? Uh, it the reason I don't want to get behind him again is because like you didn't have a bunch of yards last week. You just had two touchdowns. So like if you don't do that again, then then he's like he's like a, a flex player. You know what I mean? If he's one of your top two, you're probably in trouble. Yeah. Um what about George Pickens? Oh, I'm always playing Pickens. I like Pickens. Pickens is like a uh, he he reminds me of uh, backwards Debo. Like Debo is more of a running back who goes to play receiver. This fool's more of a receiver who will play running back. But I like Pickens. Um, I'm just gonna put them both together. The Commanders wide receivers. I don't like what I see from them. I'm not playing them. I think. If you have Scary Terry as your last option, maybe yeah, but I think at this point Dotson is uh bye, bro. Like you, you pretty uh, much just try to like get... I wouldn't even want to get these guys on my team. That's what I mean by I don't like them. Like yeah, I don't trust that team. Yeah. Um, if Christian Watson comes back, are you playing him with that nope. hammy? Uh. Uh-uh. It's because I think that they're going to ride the lightning, like I said, and they Jalen Jaden Green did uh, Reed did good, so they're going to factor him in somehow. And one thing about hamstrings, especially receivers, is that thing can get right up there again. They're like, oh, let's rest him. It's like you're sitting with three points from a receiver. Yep. Something tells me a Seahawks receiver goes off this week, though. Is it Jackson and Jimbo time? I actually think it's DK. I was going to say, I feel like it's probably DK. Dude, is him and Gino got something going on. They uh, they like working with each other. Is there anybody we left off on this list? Mm, I don't really think so. I mean, I'm not really. I don't really. Like, if I have him, I'll pl- obviously play Pittman against the Ravens, but that's scary. Uh, Obviously, Diggs is going to smash the Commanders. Maybe Elijah Moore? Who's the guy? I want to ask you all this. I saved it for this video. He's literally owned in zero leagues. Okay. Nick Westbrook. Akina. Would you pick him up? Not play him, maybe, but pick him up. If I have a spot and I don't have to drop anybody for him, maybe. Yeah, for sure. He's just good, but he's on the wrong team. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I'm I mean, I'm looking at his points and almost 10 points week one, eleven week two. I mean, that's better than a lot of these guys that we some of these guys we named. Yeah. Yeah. I'm a Dotson owner, and this dude literally has done nothing for me. Mm-hmm. So it's kind of like, ooh. Then to answer your question, he's worth yes, he's worth picking up and holding. I mean, hopefully, maybe you know, maybe Will Levis comes. Uh, no, I'm just gonna stop. You're one ten- temper tantrum from D Hop away from him being the second best. That you know what I'm saying. And uh, you're one fucking knee ache from Derrick Henry from the way that that team chip plays base uh, football. So he's he's worth holding on to. Yeah. All right, people, if you made it to this point, like, subscribe, let us know who you agree with, who you disagree with. If you want more answers, you can always check us out Sunday morning, 8 in the morning, Central Time. We are live here every Sunday morning to help you out with these picks on who to start, who to sit. We give out injury updates. We give out weather updates. We give out all types of stuff, help you out with your DraftKings, with your IDP, with your defense, with quarterback questions, everything in between. Um, if you have a question, drop it down below. We'll answer it for you. If you disagree with us, let us know what you disagree on. That being said, we are out of here. Much love. Good luck in week three. Later. How much I'm working for this? I swear my dreams are too important.